everyone, and welcome to the 2021 graduation ceremony. The journey has been long, and it at times seemed as if we would never get here, yet here we are. I want to sincerely congratulate my fellow classmates for successfully completing this chapter of our lives. I am genuinely proud of each and every one of you. Oftentimes, when we come to a moment such as this, we like to spend time reflecting on memories and lessons. I believe that this is incredibly important, and I encourage you all to take some time to do just that. Tonight, however, I would like to focus on our future and leave you all with a set of challenges as you prepare to step into the unknown. To my fellow classmates, I challenge you to be teachable. Regardless of how much you know, there will always be someone who knows more than you. Be prepared and willing to learn from those around you. Strive to gain wisdom over knowledge, as wisdom will take you farther than plain knowledge ever could. True wisdom is often found in the most unlikely places, so keep your eyes, ears, and hearts open. Recognize that every person has something special to offer, including you. Learn all you can from those around you, but never be afraid to teach others as well. Learn to use your individual gifts in ways that both benefit you and positively impact the world around you. I challenge you to place your identity firmly in your creator, for who else is worthy of this than the one who formed you? Placing your identity in the things of this world will never satisfy and will leave you unfulfilled and discontent. Learn who you are in the eyes of the one who drew the blueprints for you and your life. Find your identity in the one who is constant and unchanging and who will never let you down. It may take some hard lessons to realize the necessity of this, and it takes great effort to remember whose you are, but I hope you learn that it is worth it. I challenge you to focus on relationships. Our class is a testament to how incredibly important relationships are. We have been through some difficult and inconvenient experiences, and I believe the class of 2021 has personified the phrase, we are stronger together. I know all of you have realized the importance of forming solid relationships, and I encourage you to take this attitude with you as you open new chapters in your life. Make time for those you love. Cherish and grow your current relationships, and be open and excited to form new ones, while also remembering to choose your friends wisely. Recognize the vast capacity of your hearts to love, and love well. I challenge you to pursue the truth, when I say this, I am not talking about your personal truth, as the world likes to tell you. For if something is relative, then it cannot ultimately be true. I want you to search for the truth that each human soul yearns to discover. Wherever life takes you, search for what is pure and right and true. Do not stop your pursuit until you find the truth. I guarantee you will know it when you find it, and you will never regret your efforts to discover what is true. Finally, I challenge you to live a life of integrity. Strive to take the high road at every turn. Remain steadfast as you build your character. Recognize the beauty and value of a heart of integrity, both in yourself and in others, and cherish it. Stay humble. Be honest, no matter what. For honesty and tr for trust is difficult to gain and terribly easy to lose. Embrace every challenge and experience with a kind, grateful, and willing heart. Do not let your failures define or destroy you, but do allow them to teach and shape you. Find joy, both in the journey and in the little things. Live with intention and integrity. To conclude, I want to leave each of you, my fellow classmates, with the words of a prayer. Although I have tweaked them to better fit tonight, these are not my words, but are rather borrowed from a sign I have hanging on my bedroom wall. I have felt their impact, and I want to share them with you. My heart for you is that you will learn that your journey is where you will become strong, that your strength is from God, not within yourselves, that you stand when no one else does, that you speak for those who cannot, that you be the light when everything else goes dark, that you have the eyes to see the lovely and the unlovely, for that is so often where we see God, that you live loved, because you know you are loved by God, that you hear his song over you each and every day, and that you are able to forgive because you know the depth of your forgiveness. This is my heart for all of you. 
I hope each of you can feel the love and pride that fills this gym tonight. I wish each one of you the very best of luck. Wherever life takes you, always remember the love and support you have and will continue to receive from your fellow classmates, family, and community members here in Sabetha, Kansas. Congratulations to you all. Thank you.